Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a custom install path for Source Filmmaker. So, we start by finding the Steam root directory, which in my case is directly on the Steam drive. We want to go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Source Filmmaker Game. So in here there will be several folders, but that doesn't matter. The only one you need is user mod and a new folder that you're making. So I'm going to make a new folder, and I will name it VidTuts. And then inside VidTuts, I will install something, which will be the subject of a separate video being made shortly. So we install that. And then we come over here to user mod, and we want to edit gameinfo.txt. You can use Notepad. I use Notepad++. And we come to the end of the search paths section. We duplicate the last line. And inside these quotes, we put in the name of the folder we made. And we save it. And then we launch Source Filmmaker. And then we create a new section, we load a map, and we let load, it'll take a few seconds, because Source Filmmaker has never been super fast on the uptake. There we go, turn on the lights and see what we're doing, and we search basketball, and there's the model right there. You can see under Mod Vid Tuts, that's the model we installed. That is how you create a custom search path you can have. A large amount of them, theoretically it's limitless, but I've noticed, at least in the past, and I haven't tested this in a few years now, but I've noticed that if you have more than about 52 entries in that search path section, Source Filmmaker would just stop loading. So, you know, separate out, organize your models however you see fit, but do keep in mind that if Source Filmmaker suddenly stops loading correctly, you might have to remove some of those mods. So that was this section. The complimentary part of how to download and install items will be uploaded shortly. Until then.